Yeah, I made the video saying I was going to fight Jake Paul when he first called out Conor McGregor. Conor, you're scared. Dana, you're scared. Sign the fucking contract, you idiot. Jake Paul, it's clear to me you are desperate for a reality check. So this is your offer. Three million dollars. You put three, I put three. Winner takes all. And he called me out like two years ago. And I remember seeing it. I was just like, swipe up. Like, okay, who the fuck is this guy? Like, don't care. That was when everyone was calling me out. Because you had the Disney brothers. I know. The, the Disney brothers <laughs> who gained a bunch of power and notoriety. And they were the most famous brothers on the planet. And they've now been usurped by my brother and I, who come from a very unfortunate background. Can I beat the shit out of Andrew fucking Tate? 100%. Will you, you let should. me do that for you? 100%, yeah. I don't think he would fight us. Are you going to fight Jake Paul? This I'm going to smash him on it. But I was like, you're going to come out here and talk to the fighter. There's a whole bunch of fighters out there who no one's ever heard of, who have no money, who would whoop your ass. And I said, look, if you want to fight a real fighter, you can fight me, because I'm genuinely upset. If my brother doesn't fuck you up, I will. Because you managed to become a fucking clown. The biggest clown on the fucking internet. If you want to fight, you want to send a contract, send one to me. I will take a few weeks break from living my retired life to kick the living fuck out of a fucking goofy, fucking entitled dickhead. A lot of fucking noise. So I, I want to be the best actual technical skilled influencer boxer because I see how big this is becoming. For me to fight, it would have to be personal beef because I can't be motivated by money. For me to take six months out of my life to beat the shit out of somebody would have to be I don't like that person.